Any one of you who is familiar with our quick command, it's the one next to contour, the other toolpathing command. Uh, we have some great updates for you. And I would think and I would say that these updates are so good that you who only use the contour command, you're probably gonna wanna try the quick command from now on. Um, so the quick command, you usually, um, or you used to only be able to, let's say if you wanna cut a rectangle, uh, pick start positions and end positions in the corners. But uh, now you can have a shape like this and you can start anywhere you want. You just pick, either you snap it or you pick it uh, anywhere on the contour for start and stop. Let me show you. So I just wanna go to our parametric shape library, uh, open our parametric parts and open Let's say this part uh, creates a part from it and let's just say okay uh, and we we'll go right to the quick command open the quick command and if you want to place it on the outer geometry we choose contour we have our piercings as we usually do in our um, tool pathing commands but let's just go for single and you see this dotted line it, it indicates that we can start wherever we want. So I can just click here if I want to, or I can right click, let's say midpoint from here to midpoint, or if I wanted to hit escape, if I wanted to cut all the way around here, I could just hit enter. But right click, midpoint, let's go to that midpoint, and I have to select this side or this side. Select this, and now we have our usual um, manual lead placement. So if I click, it's gonna end up where the dotted line is. So let's just click there. Let's go to our endpoint. If I click on done or space or enter, it will end up where this solid line ends. So like that. That's a quick command, I can escape and uh, it will start here, cut this segment and then go out right there. So that's some really good improvements of our quick command. Um, try it out and uh, drop comments, tell us what you think about it. Catch you in the next one.